Let me please introduce the other speakers here. Keith, would you like to begin? I would be happy to, Professor. Thank you. And would you, in the process of your remarks, introduce Lester? I certainly and Steve? would. Steve? Um, I'm Keith Straub. I'm a 61 year old attorney from Washington, D.C. As Professor Nesson indicated, I founded Normal back in 1970, served as executive director during the 70s, returned and served as executive director another term from 1995 to 2004, and I am currently legal counsel to the organization. I first smoked marijuana in 1965 when I was a freshman at Georgetown Law School, and I have been a regular marijuana smoker ever since. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the responsible use of marijuana by adults, and it should be of no interest or concern to the government. In each of the past dozen or so years, I have come to Boston to speak at the city's annual Boston Freedom Rally. That event, which is held on the Boston Common, is a citizen protest against the continued prohibition of marijuana smokers. It's sponsored by the Mass Can Normal Group, which is the state affiliate of Normal in Massachusetts. This past September 15, Rick Cusick and I, Rick from High Times Magazine, associate publisher, had stepped behind the High Times Normal booth to share a marijuana cigarette. A couple of undercover agents approached us, uh, swooned down, arrested us, and caught us with one third of a joint. And the statement they made when they caught us, which was sort of interesting, was, you two are old enough to know that. <laughs> it was clear that their impression was that only kids smoke marijuana, which is a, a, a mistaken impression on their part. And they didn't recognize that there are tens of millions of Americans who smoke marijuana responsibly, and many of us are senior citizens. Mr. Cusick and I were booked at a temporary holding station uh, set up on its, they had set up at the common. Uh, we were then released on our own recognizance and allowed to return to the Freedom Rally to make our speeches later that day. So in some ways, I want to make it clear, we're not complaining about the police. I don't think they enjoyed being there. I don't think they liked the fact that someone had told them they had to go out and bust 40 or 50 marijuana smokers. And they were clearly a bit embarrassed that they had ended up arresting a couple of gray-haired old men who were older than they were. But the point is, we never should have been arrested at all, as marijuana smoking should not be illegal. Therefore, as two of the estimated 8,900 adults arrested on marijuana-related charges in Massachusetts last year, 7,300 of whom were charged with personal use, Mr. Cusick and I have elected to challenge the law and its application to us. We have both entered pleas of not guilty. In addition, through our attorneys, Professor Charles Nesson from Harvard Law School, Matt Feinberg of Feinberg and Campholz, who's not here to see was with us at court, is not with us right now, and Steve Epstein from Georgetown, Massachusetts. We have filed a motion challenging the constitutionality of the statute which criminalizes marijuana smokers in the state of Massachusetts. In addition, we will eventually be challenging, uh, be, be requesting the judge to issue a jury nullification instruction in this matter to advise the jury that they absolutely have the legal power that if they think that what we did was not wrong and that convicting us of a marijuana, a criminal marijuana charges would create an injustice, they are absolutely free and have an obligation to acquit us. Mr. Cusick and I did not wish to get arrested, nor did we intend to create a confrontation. We were simply trying to make a political statement at Boston's annual anti-prohibition event. Now that the state has chosen to treat us as criminals, however, we feel obliged to challenge these laws that result in more than 800,000 marijuana arrests each year in this country. It is time we stopped arresting responsible marijuana smokers in Massachusetts and throughout the country. If the legislature in Massachusetts and in other states continue to turn a deaf ear to the calls for decriminalizing responsible marijuana smokers, then it is time for the, for the courts to declare these laws unconstitutional as an unwar unwarranted intrusion into the right of our constitutionally protected right to privacy. 